Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to delete a Stripe customer using REST API. After that, we will try to delete a customer from the UI, that means using the theme lead. So, if you go through the Stripe document, if you go to the delete a customer section, and here you can see they have already given the code. So, we are just going to use their code, but here we just need to pass the customer ID and we will get response like this one so that means if you are getting response deleted as a true that means the customer has been deleted so you can easily check that one also so what we have to do first of all we have to create a delete api so what i will do i will copy this line and if you remember for rest api we are using this controller so just come down and i'm going to change name as a delete customer and here we are going to pass the id and give the slash and change the name as a delete customer and once the customer will be deleted then we need to show message like successfully deleted and here we no need to pass the customer object here we just need to pass the id only so what we can do we have to just use path variable give here id and just import this one and after that just copy the code and paste the code and here we need to use our stripe key we have already set the api key in the properties file and here you need to select anyone and if you remember they are saying like if the customer will be deleted successfully we will get response like it deleted true so just put here one breakpoint one breakpoint also here and here we need to pass our customer id so we are going to use postman to pass the customer id just save and try to run in the debug mode and in meantime just go to the postman so just copy this API and paste it and give the name like delete customer because we have just created API and after that we need to pass the customer ID. So currently I'm going to delete the first customer here I have given description like RA. So just come and this is the customer ID just copy come here and paste and change here delete and call that api so here you can see we are getting our customer id and after that go for next here you can see we are getting customer correct this is our customer this customer we are going to delete so go for next And this is the deleted customer you can see everything is null 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 right and this was our customer ID correct and go for that one you will see here message successfully deleted so just come click on customer section try to refresh and you can see that customer has been deleted so now we are going to integrate that delete api in our ui side that means theme leaf so just copy this whole thing and come to the theme leaf controller this controller we are using only for the ui rendering that means theme leaf so just come down and here we need to render the ui so what i will do i will just render here success because if you see we have already one HTML that is called success.html so if this user will be deleted it will render to success page and after that what we have to do just go to your customer page if you see here we have already edit and delete so currently if I click on delete nothing will be happen so for that we are now creating the delete API so this will be our delete API but we need to call this API when we click on delete button so where is our delete button function see this is the delete 
that means we need to call that API here so what you have to do you have to use thhref colon href and here we need to call our API so our API name is delete customer so how you can write at the rate open and close and give here delete customer and after that we need to send the ID that means customer ID so how we have done just we have to use ID here now we need to assign like okay where is our ID so if you see here this customer is containing the ID right so what we can do just say like here ID equal to just copy paste this whole line so what we are doing this section is currently calling our API okay that means delete and here we are passing path variable as a id so now who hold id value so this is our like key we have declared like okay this is our id name but where is the value that means we are using equal to customer dot customer id now save and restart your server so now if you refresh it I'm having one customer my 12 name and this is the ID if you go here we have that user directly here you can cross check with customer ID so now what will be happen I'm just going to click on delete if it will delete perfectly we will see successfully done message so you can see here we got the message right and this was the our customer ID so what will be happen now click on customer and refresh it you can see the customer has been deleted so this time I'm going to delete this mic at the rate of gmail.com user also so now click on this user delete correct you can see now go to a stripe dashboard and click on customers so you can see here customer has been deleted so in next tutorial we are going to see how to get the customer data so that means when I will click on edit I'm going to get all the data so you can see in the UI and same thing we are going to see in the rest API side also